Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode of Clipstead. Today we are moving away from the main city itself and down towards the sea. We are building the harbor and the fishing market and all those buildings surrounding that today. Today I, I think I kind of... Yeah, they did a little bit too much than I was really expecting. It took way longer than I was really anticipating. But it was a lot of fun and it turned out super good. So here I am showing you what I've done today. Uh, doing some world edit and stuff like that just to create a foundation. And then we're gonna make a small path leading from the farming district down here. Using all those layers. That takes a lot of time, I tell you. If you haven't done paths using the layers, you better try it. Because it takes so long, but it looks so good. And then we're also adding this small wooden uh, harbors here, sticking out like that. Which are going to be used for smaller boats. So the thing here about this uh, harbor here of Clipset uh, is that it's mainly used for fishing. Because it's uh, Clipset is not connected to the sea. It's just a small... Or not the ocean, it's just like a small sea um, surrounding Clipset basically. So this is where they fish and the waters here are very rich on nice and good fish. So that is kind of what most of the people of Clipset are uh, eating, fish and stuff like that and also the things they farm. So we're using this as to symbolize that to give them a bit more of a lore um, towards the fishing part of Clipset. I think it turned out pretty cool here. And then we're building a small fishing builder, so, or boat builder, fishing boat builder I guess. Building boats and stuff like that. It's looking also pretty cool here with a small shack on the side storing some materials and resources and stuff like that to, to build a boat. So. Yeah, it's a little bit of a small community down here, building boats, going fishing, and then selling the fish towards the people living in Clipstead. So here we can use, we're using some of these racks to dry some some nets and stuff like that. It's looking pretty cool. Then we're also adding a few buildings down here, and which I'm not sure uh, what it's called in English, but in Norway it's very common that we have this um, very small buildings uh, in fishing villages, which is just used for just one guy sleeping there whenever he's fishing. He's coming in, going to land, sleep, and then go out fishing again. Uh, and then just keep his uh, tools there, keep his nets, his uh, cages, and stuff like that. Uh, fishing rods and things. So it's just like a small fishing hut, basically, for uh, the normal stuff you use for fishing. And it, yeah, it really creates this nice atmosphere down here, I think, when you have them so close together uh, and very small, simple buildings. Interiors are also very compact and very minimalistic, but it's just there to create this atmosphere and it looks so cool I really think and now we're adding some uh, Fishing nets and barrels and things like that in the front which just looks super nice And then a small like overhang or a small simple building on the side here just to store some more stuff So yeah, it's pretty cool in the back here. We're kind of um, merging the harbor towards the farms with some landscaping with a lot of trees and bushes and just kind of landscaping the parts in between here to make it feel uh, like a seamless transition between the farmlands and then the harbor down here. So that was a lot of fun. I really do enjoy doing uh, vegetation and stuff like that in the Conquest Reforged mod because it's such a fun pro fun thing to do with all those extra plants and and bushes and things like that just allows you to be a lot more creative than usual so I really like that also guys uh, we're getting very close to finishing clips at here so um, we're planning the next project right now yesterday I was publishing a video about that uh, about Crasper which is going to be the massive huge project for this channel here so if you want to help me out check out that video there for more information I should try to leave a link down below if not, it should be uh, on my channel, uh, but it's just me. I want you guys to help me uh, plan out a little bit of what we're going to do in the future with both my channel and building and stuff like that. And now we're building the fishing market. There's a lot of small of these tents uh, and market stalls just selling stuff, mostly fish, but also some that are going to sell like fishing nets like this one here, probably uh, transporting some fishing from other parts of the world here and then selling them here. Uh, and then we have like small cars and stuff, probably selling other stuff or bringing them up towards the marketplace in Clipset because we have a small part marketplace over there as well. So then yeah, basically just some small boots here, mainly for selling fish. So that is just creates a very cool atmosphere here. And it really just takes the harbor to the next level. And then we're filling up with some more crates and cages and um, 
drying nets and stuff like that, some cars, and just kind of filling up every every empty spot of uh, this harbor here. And then we're going to add some boats, because uh, what is a harbor without boats? And I really enjoy boats, I really want to try to make a massive boat once, uh, like the ones Lord Dacru do or something like that, just like massive, really massive boats. Uh, this is based upon the traditional Nordic long uh, boat design, which is a very shallow, very low boats, which are very wide and long. Um, and yeah, it's very efficient in these kind of waters because it's very shallow, so it allows the, the boat to drive very close to land without uh, getting stuck. And also, it really just fits the theme we have of Clipsa, which is based on the Norse uh, architecture. So it just fits very nicely here. And then we're adding another boat here, which is uh, not yet arrived to land, but it's rowing slowly towards land, uh, which I think looks super cool. Um, and then we had this oar sticking out on the side as well later. And everything just looks super nice, I think, when we're just adding a little bit of scenery here, creating that uh, atmosphere when the boat is arriving. It's not yet in there and just makes the world feel alive, you know. But let me just finish off this building here, uh, adding some more details, adding some... Um, some of these uh, ores and stuff like that and I'll meet you in first person to just quickly walk along the, the roads here and just see how everything looks in first person. So we're walking down the path here, we can see the nice vegetation here seamlessly just merging this towards the cliff there, I think it looks super nice. Uh, and then we have just this small fishing market. We have some tables to sit, uh, a couple of ropes just laying around here, a big cart to bring some fish and stuff up to the people of Clipstead. Um, and then we have these nice boots here. You can see they're selling fish and nets and stuff like that. This is supposed to be like barrels of fish. Uh, I guess it works if you just um, don't really bother too much. Um, this guy is selling some massive swordfish. Um, or fish like that. It's also supposed to be bigger barrels of fish. Uh, I guess it works. We have some small boots here. Um, yeah, a lot of them. I really like these carts here. Uh, I don't know why, but I really just like how they how they look. I guess with the wheels and the opening things where you open it up and then there's a lot of stuff inside it. So this one looks super nice. Then we have this one, a little bit of a different design, but definitely looking pretty good as well. Uh, and then we have this one. Uh, this guy is not selling rubies, even though this is rubies. It's supposed to be shrimps, um, I think. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of just imagining this being shrimps, because uh, people like shrimps. Not myself, but other people do. Uh, and then as you can see, there's just a lot of things here, like crates and this fishing net drying up and stuff like that. Then we have this very cool crane right here, uh, which I'm very happy with. We have this massive wheel to turn this stuff here and then lifting it up and down. The planks here allowing the uh, the guy here, the boat builder, to make some boats, I guess. And then we have this counterweight here just to uh, make it not tip over. Um, yeah, it looks super nice. We also have this ramp here to uh, drag the boats into the sea whenever they are done. Because no one's going to lift those out. You got, you got to push them. And then we have this rails here to allow that. Uh, we have this small shed here or just a shelter I guess for some materials resources and stuff for this guy to build his boats barrels and planks and stuff and then we have some more here in the back um, yeah just to kind of cover up some of this stuff here uh, then we have yeah let's walk this way here we have a big stuff here a big boat uh, with this night gargoyle in the front here we also have a very cool a sail with uh, the, the colors of Clipset here and it just looks super cool. Let's go down there. Let's take a small look here a Very nice very simple yet, but I just really love the shape of it I've been having so much fun then we have some small oars here on the side just to row it out and until you raise the sail to get some proper speed here uh, I think it looks super cool we also have this uh, big crane here, uh, which is a lot bigger than this one, but also it should be technically functional. Functional? Functional? Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the word. Uh, we have this massive wheel here to pull, uh, which turns this um, log here in the middle, and then uh, tightening this rope, which should then tighten up this... Um, this rope here so you can lift stuff up. So this is now ready for this boat coming in here, um, which looks super nice. 
Uh, it's kind of rowing towards the bay here. We have this nice dragon in the front. I really like how that looks. Really trying to get that traditional Viking longboat look on the front here. Uh, but then using these shells instead just to give it a little bit of color to make it a little bit, bit unique. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy with how that turned out. Down here, something that I just added just recently, just a small diagonal boat. Just adds so much, I think. It looks super great. Um, then we have these houses here. I guess we're going to take a look at them as well. So let's go in here. As I said, these are just simple fishing huts for the guys. So they have like a small seating area just to possibly fix some fishing nets. Uh, things like that. You can also go up here where he would be sleeping on just some hay. This is not his normal house. This is just uh, like a secondary home, I guess. For some people, it might be their primary home. And then a small kitchen just to prepare some simple food. Um, and then we have some fish and stuff drying outside here. In here, we have another one of these ones. Uh, some fish and stuff drying, some barrels, and then a simple uh, loft to sleep at like this with some hay and stuff. Just very simple stuff. A lot of tools and cages, like lobster cages, uh, drying racks, some clothes drying up there as well, just to, to give it a little bit of uh, personality here. And then in here we have another one of these, just a guy sitting here doing some work, planning out where to go fish the next time I guess. And up here there's some hay to sleep on and a little bit of a kitchen to get some food in the stomach. So that is very nice. Down here is also some more boats. And these are a little bit smaller. Uh, but we have this one here which is preparing to go out, so therefore all the barrels are empty. Uh, we're already kind of just lifting some barrels in here and preparing to take off out there, catch some more fish. Uh, I think it looks super nice. It's a similar shape but it's just smaller than the bigger ones over there. And then this one here is just coming in uh, with some shrimps here. So fishing nets here and then just kind of dumping the stuff over on land here. Um, yeah, I think it's really working. I really like the shape of this and it just brings this whole uh, harbor to life. I think it's super nice. Um, there's also a small boat over here. Just a very very small one and it's nothing really too interesting but it gets the job done. So yeah just like this uh, with some simple oars. There's no mast on it so it's not sailing it's just rowing out. Just a little bit out there catching some some fish and stuff. Very simple stuff. But thank you so much for watching guys. Really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo Man, and I'm out.